Welcome back you guys. I'm here with two volunteers, Ms. Janelle Wright and Mr. Mm -hmm. Ron Lawrence, who help us at the project. So do y'all mind introducing yourselves a little bit? Okay, I'm Janelle Wright. I'm Ron Lawrence. <laughs> I've been here, this is my fourth year. Cool. And uh, I just recently moved into the Volunteer Village. Where's the Volunteer Village at? It's at Amity Park on okay. the west side of the lake. Uh-huh. And uh, it's a little different. I was kind of isolated before in a closed down area. Uh -huh. So getting used to having people around is a little bit different. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> um, where did you uh, join us from? I came here from Kentucky. Oh. How I did was, you hear about West Point Project? Uh, I was looking to leave Kentucky and I was looking at some different availabilities and I had talked to um, a couple of places out on the coast about going out and tending a lighthouse or hmm. uh, various things and uh, as time kind of dwindled down I happened to call here and the ranger that was in charge of the project said come on down and so here I am I've been cool. here ever since. Nice so what kind of duties do you help us with? Uh, right now I uh, help collect honor vaults, pick up day use fees at uh, boat ramps and the beaches when they're open, mm -hmm. uh, do uh, some trash pickup and clean up in the day uh, some of the day use areas and fishing areas uh, on the north side of the lake. Well actually they're on all sides of the lake but mm -hmm. uh, that um, you know that the maintenance contractor can't always get to you in a timely fashion. Definitely. What about you, Miss Janelle? How did you hear about us? Through other volunteers. Oh, cool. I've been in this area about 16 years, uh -huh. over in Harris County. Mm -hmm. Worked at Callaway Gardens. Oh, and, cool. Uh, wanted to retire. Uh -huh. So this has been a stepping stone. Uh huh. Okay. Cool. And my first uh, venue was at FDR Campgrounds mm -hmm. over in Pine Mountain. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, after my 10 month stay there, other volunteers told me about the Corps of Engineers. Mm -hmm. So I came over and interviewed and um, come April 1st, I'll be here a year. Nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a year, that's pretty good. So you've gotten a whole season with us almost. Yes. So, yes. um, so what kind of events do you help us with? Well, I help Ron. We both do the same jobs. Mm -hmm. And then there are events throughout the year uh, like take a warrior, warrior fishing, fishing. Mm -hmm. and other special events right so anytime they ask for volunteers I I try to go because they're all fun mm -hmm. yes yeah, so is do y'all have any particular favorite events y'all y'all have helped with in the past I, I liked the uh, take a warrior fishing that okay. was a lot of fun yeah and that's it's nice energy. and early you yes. know bright and early yes. but uh, it's a good good uh, event and everyone had a lot of fun what do you get to help with at Take a Warrior Fishing? We set up tables, we sign in the, uh, the warriors, we sign in the captains who are taking the warriors out to fish, mm -hmm. and anything else uh, we're needed for, we help out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, and what about you, Ron? Do you have anything uh, in particular you like to help with? Well, when I do something like that, I like doing the special day where they have the special needs uh, mm -hmm. people out. Um, I've helped with uh, pontoon boats in the past where we try to get them on the boats where they can mm -hmm. get a ride around the lake. Mm -hmm. um, something they don't normally get to do and just have mm -hmm. pretty much a majority of the day they have train rides and bouncy houses and all kinds of things. And right. yeah, it's a busy day for that. It is, it is. It's, I uh, mean that's all hands on deck. You know, yeah, everybody oh, that definitely. helps, you it know, is. as much help as we can have it's great yeah because so. i mean even the people in wheelchairs you know we like to try to get them a boat ride if we can mm -hmm. at all or, yeah. we had so. a petting zoo there last year mm -hmm. and i was the goat keeper oh. so I, I was in charge of uh, the goat so i mean was the goat running away or something it, it had a leash on it oh, like a, okay. a dog leash okay and nice. i would just uh, walk around so the children could pet the goat i, I bet they love that oh they did yeah they did cool so Coming up, we have some campgrounds opening. I hear y'all have been helping with that a lot lately. What, what's been going on with that? Yeah, well, the campgrounds, but prior to their opening, we go in, uh, volunteers go in, make sure the fire rings are cleaned out, that the lots or campsites are blown off, mm -hmm. uh, see if there's any repairs need to be done, get the trash picked up that's blown in over the wintertime. Um, 
sometimes if we have time we try to get around and get a little bit of extra shoreline cleanup mm. done yeah. uh, because it's amazing the amount of bottles that float up and right. tennis balls and stuff yeah. like that i mean you could do that every day for the next 10 years and, and not get it there's all there's always up. enough there's plenty of trash that can be picked up all well the time. we're we're downstream <laughs> on the chattahoochee so anything that uh any rain we get uh in atlanta between here and atlanta it all comes down to Chattahoochee and other tributaries, and it brings all the trash and garbage with it. So mm -hmm. uh, I think we're the first dam or lock of any site type on the river, so it all winds up right here at West Point. Yep. So, well, yeah, that's definitely a lot of work, just picking up trash. I mean, anytime anyone's willing to come help, you know, out on the project, you know, always pick up after yourself is what I would tell people visiting. Right. So um, if... If someone were interested in volunteering, what would you want them to do? How can they get in touch with us? Well, you, if you know the, the area you're interested in, you can uh, contact the project management office at that. Uh, if you're not sure, uh, there's a place called volunteer.gov oh. that you can go online and you can pick a state and it'll show you the available <clears throat> things in that state, okay. different parks, and they're not always Corps of Engineers. Sometimes it's wildlife, mm -hmm. uh, Department of Wildlife, or something like that. Oh, but nice. Or state, state park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, you can sometimes they'll give you a number direct to the project. Uh, sometimes it's just apply online and it goes uh, from online to whoever's in charge of that project. Okay. Well, we really appreciate y'all being on the show today. Thank you for coming to chat with me for a minute. Well, and, thank uh, you. Make sure you guys, if y'all see any of the volunteers on the project, you give them a wave and say hello mm -hmm. and ask how their day's going. <laughs>